Hey everybody, I am at Walmart uh, walking around trying to find some new cool stuff to show you all on another episode of Rug Time Toys here. We are walking down the bicycle section, the giant balls that are only three bucks. It's actually a pretty good price. And uh, here we go. Let's see what kind of stuff we can find. They got all kinds of stuff here. They got uh, He-Man Legends. Look at this Predator. Man, that thing is sweet. We might have to come back here and check this out one day. Some Beast Wars, Monster Hunter X. Oh, I'm going to have to do a video about the G.I. Joe. I've been looking for these Cobra Hiss vehicles. I saw them once before, and then I passed them up, and then I couldn't find them, and now they're back. Here's some aliens. There's got to be some other G.I. Joe around here somewhere. Let's see if I can scope them out. Let's check down here. Yeah, there's a couple right here. Please also don't forget to hit that little bottom right subscribe button that you see, and here we go. Rock Time Toys. All right, let me kind of check and see if there's any other different ones behind here. I'll grab this one off first. Cobra Trooper. We got Sergeant Stalker. Sergeant Stalker. Looks like they have a lot of the same ones. These are basically the same guys I keep on seeing at all the Walmart. So I don't know if they change them out very often. So let's go ahead and grab. Oh, look at these guys. These are pretty cool. There's actually a bunch of these. I might have to come back and do another video on these. There's, you can see there's different ones by the top. They're numbered 6, 5, or 6, 26, 25. Yeah, these are pretty cool. All right, we'll have to come back and do that. Let me grab the G.I. Joe Cobra Hiss. Make sure there's no other. I think it's 23 bucks if that's the right skew. If so, that's not a bad price. You guys will have to let me in the comments below if that's what they usually go for. I want to see if there's anything else. Whoops. Back here, something different. No, they're all Cobra Hits, so they must have just got to restock. All right, let's go back here and grab the couple of G.I. Joes that I found. Sergeant, Sergeant Stalker, Lonzo Stalker Wilkinson, we'll, we'll look at first. Got that old school artwork there on the left by Hasbro. And uh, you got some of his weapons up here on the bottom and on the top. Pretty cool how Hasbro keeps on coming out with all these old school toys. I very much enjoy it. I used to have this guy when I was young. You can see the little writing on the side, the numbers. There's his fatigues. Let's uh, flip him over here and see what's on the back. Lonzo Stalker Wilson. He's a ranger. Specialties infantry. Medic interpreter. He's from Detroit, Detroit, Michigan. Hands up to Detroit. Got some other characters down here that I'm assuming they sell, which I have not seen any at all. I think that guy on the left's name is Destro. And then, uh, yeah, look at all these guys. I had every single one of these when I was a kid. And then, of course, I sold them all at a yard sale for, like, probably five bucks. I think they used to come with a little UPC code where you can send it in and probably get something on the little bottom there, but I don't think they do that anymore. All right, here's a Cobra Trooper. If only I could get that bag of G.I. Joe's back that I sold when I was like eight years old. All right, look at that. So there's his weapons. He has some kind of like thing back there. We'll have to check that out behind him. There's his helmet. There's his weapon with a scope. I don't know what you would need a scope for with that. I think it would take care of most things in a general vicinity. Look at that. That's kind of funny. And then let's see if I can see that little thing on the side there. First, let's kind of give him a quick look up here so we can see a good close-up of his outfit. All right, so that says Cobra Trooper. Maybe it's like a stand, so that way he can stand up on a shelf a little easier. Let's see if he comes with one. I didn't notice. Yep, Sergeant Stalker. So he comes with a stand too. So that looks new. I don't remember these things coming up stands from back in the day. They could have, though. It's been a long time. Let's see. He is the enemy infantry sabotage he's from various countries of birthplace and it shows all the same guys down here again i gotta keep an eye out for those see if i can find them and now last but not least this is what i want to look at most the cobra hiss three awesome i love the artwork 813 on the front i have no clue what that is maybe it's just a random number you got the tank tread Comes with the uh, little specialty character down here on the bottom. I bet you it's the Hiss driver. It's a giant cobra symbol on the front. Let's flip it around, get a better look at it. It's pretty sweet looking. There's that tread. There's the character. His name is Rip It. 
I see at the bottom. There's just some of the side decals and the little top opens up so you can stick them in there. So this is Rip It. His name is Fred Booth III. He's a Hiss driver, heavy equipment operator from Fall River, Massachusetts. He's mean and fearless and doesn't begin to describe Rip It. It's pretty funny. That must have been fun coming up with some of the uh, backgrounds for these guys. So that is it for the video. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to all that fun stuff, especially if you enjoyed the video. And uh, thank you for sticking by. Check out my playlists that are popping up about now, and we will see you next time.